Impressive technique, but completely unnecessary, detective. I'm unarmed. I highly doubt that. Hey, hey! Keep your hands where I can see him. Seriously, Nick? What are you gonna do, arrest me? That was the old Nick. Yes. I saw what you did to Stoddard. And then you flew all the way across the country to rob me? Why, well, you just might be the most ruthless son of a bitch I've ever known. <laughs> Still, I don't think you're cold-blooded enough to shoot an unarmed man. If you wanted to kill me, you would have done it already. So what do you really want, Nick? Depends what you're offering. Finally, you're asking the right question. What's the offer? Simple, the world. I want you to help me run my organization, then take it over when I'm gone. Yeah, well, I think I just proved your organization has a few holes. Well, who better to plug them? Huh? Look around. You're all alone, Nick. Wonder why? My friends had somewhere else to be. No. No, you sent them away. You see, I think you finally figured out who you really are. You're just like me. More criminal than cop. You know what? You're right. Tell me, Nick, when you pulled the trigger, did I look surprised? There's a bookshelf near my desk. Behind it is a passageway. Open it up. I framed you because I didn't think you were a realist. Good guys never are. But I invited you out here because I hoped that maybe I was wrong. That maybe you were salvageable. You see what I've done is corruption. Favors rendered, money procured. No. The cops I've been working with, police chiefs, commissioners I'm talking about. You'd be shocked by how fast they cooperated. And it's not because they're bad men. The problem is risk. My customers sell something millions of people want. I've reduced risk. For cop, criminal, for everybody. And everyone was willing to look the other way. Except you. What I've built can't be taken apart. There's too much at stake. Too many lives and reputations. So congratulations, detective. It's all yours. Oh my god. Now what are you gonna do with it? <laughs> 